<clears throat> oh man. All right, so I kind of hurt my back and hauling these around in my planer and my DeWalt would have a lot of, it would have a hard time trying to plane all this stuff. So I, I'm going to plane all this stuff with my CNC. These are going to be a bunch of flags. Um, but I, you know, I, I haven't really talked about my uh, Avid CNC. This is a five by 10 uh, Avid CNC. It is almost ATC ready. I'm just waiting for them to do a, a software release for the actual holders. Uh, but that is a smart uh, AV70 spindle. And that thing is super awesome, super smart. And uh, yeah, so when I did my spoil board, I ended up cutting all these little inserts. Each one of these inserts, I can uh, lay boards and I can keep them perpendicular to my X, Y, and Z uh, surfacing. So. This is super awesome. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna surface all this stuff. These are gonna be flags, upcoming flags, couple going away gifts. And uh, yeah, so let's, let's get this stuff done. Okay, so with the wedges, and I put a couple of little inserts on the bottom just to kind of keep it from moving, uh, but the wedges, I mean, this thing is 100% secured. I'm not worried about this thing flying off the table when I hit it with uh, the flattening bit. Should be pretty good. These boards are pretty twisted. This one, I mean, I, they should have paid me for this board to take it. Um, but anyways, let's, uh, let's get this thing flat. about five minutes per pass two passes took about I would say just under uh, just a little bit over an eighth come off that that was pretty good um, everything is super flat every everything is uniform so what I'm really happy with is there's no burn marks um, I have a little burn mark here because I ended up stopping the uh, the tool path so I can get that shot at, at the corner. So I ended up just holding it and it came up, repositioned the camera, came right back down and started on that corner and, went and just started exactly where it left off. So that, you know, Avid has some pretty cool features on that and uh, it actually turned out really good. So I'm gonna flip these and we'll do the other side. Thank you. 
All right, so what I ended up doing is I measured from this surface, even though none of this stuff is technically level, this is 100% flat on the bottom side surface. So my goal right now is 1.75. Right now I am at 1.793. <clears throat> when I was looking at this board, this looked pretty low compared to the relative of the other boards. Uh, so each pass for my tool path was uh, 0.1 down. So I ended up zeroing off of this and then I brought it up 0 0.05 and then I re-zeroed for the Z height. My XY stayed the same, right? So technically <clears throat> I'm above 0 0.05 uh, of my actual zero. So my total depth of cut will be 0 0.05. So I just divided it in half. I didn't have to go and redo the tool path. Uh, that should give me 1.75 for the overall thickness of both boards. So, but we'll see if everything gets hit. If not, I might have to go a little bit more shallow. But again, these were pretty twisted. Um, so that was the goal. I knew I might not get there, uh, but let's see what happens. I think that's pretty good. I'm right on the money. <clears throat> that is good to go. So, all right. All right, so that's basically it. Everything is flat, flat to the surface. Um, no issues joining these boards up uh, later on when I actually do the wavy flag. I'm actually going to cut these about three inches uh, and then use the side grain here as the actual top. That would give me about three, in, three inches of thickness, inch and uh, uh, three quarter for the actual width of each stripe. That should be a pretty, you know, pretty big overall flag uh, at the end of this thing. So, uh, but looking at this, no issues joining these boards up. The glue seams will be really tight. No issues with that. Not. A whole lot of burning I see a little bit up on top but I mean <clears throat> I was going about 200 inches per minute for the flattening surface I didn't see an issue with it uh, everything else looked really good I have a couple low spots right here uh, but when I harvest this for the flag I'm not too concerned about this because I'm gonna be joining these boards together so no issue on that uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, super awesome with the Avid C CNC, getting this in the shop, getting it operational, trying to, you know, do some simple tool paths uh, to get familiar. It was nice to be able to set my Z height, knowing that I was going to go 0.1 deep uh, when I did the surface planing, so I could adjust my Z very easily. Um, you know, instead of going through and adjusting the actual tool path. So that was really super awesome. When I stopped it here to do some different shooting, uh, they have a super awesome feature in uh, um, the actual software, the motion software, where you can stop it, you can inspect the tool, uh, and then it'll go right back into the operation. Um, no issues with the depth, and yeah. Uh, I feel like it's cheating, it probably is, uh, but with my back right now, um, just lifting these boards was pretty pretty significant uh, for me to do right now. So definitely beat uh, going through the DeWalt planer. That would have took me about an hour and I probably would have hurt myself with just a little bit more. So uh, super happy with how this turned out and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll probably do a video on the actual flag itself uh, should be pretty cool. It's going to be a big one. Um, I got three more sets of these boards to actually do, so it's going to be a pretty massive uh, undertaking. All right. Well, hey, uh, appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. All right. Thanks.